Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today we are going to discuss new topic and uh, the topic is uh, related to how to upgrade basic load balancer to standard load balancer. Why especially is it required? Because of Microsoft mentioned it's a basic load balancer, it's going to retire in 2025. In between, everyone should upgrade their basic load balancer to standard load balancer. That is a specific reason why we need to upgrade it. So, like there are so many scenarios, we are going to use the uh, this basic load balancers. Like, let's look into that. Before that, sorry guys, it's a uh, uh, recently I'm not able to um, provide more videos in my YouTube channel, and due to my like you know trip as well as health issues and everything. Uh, but I will try to my level best even this month also I can't release more videos I have some other personal plans uh, due to that uh, I'm like planning to uh, some like um, Europe trip there is a some Europe trip is available and um, tra planning to travel so due to that I can't uh, release more videos but I will try to my level best okay before going to jump into the topic and if you like my videos and please subscribe and like and give the comments your comments anything your questions as well as uh, uh, increasing the anything as well as any new topic you are looking and uh, accordingly you can provide it so today topic it's uh, topic is a uh, already i mentioned basic load balancer to public uh, like standard load balancer not public standard load balancer so let's go to i already have one basic load balancer already configured and it's a backend one web server as a backend pool let me show you all the things this is a web lb01 i deployed it and east us2 and that specific uh, resource group and if you see here this is a virtual mission one virtual mission is a backend because of just testing i want to show you practically that's the reason only one mission i created and what type of load balancer is a basic load balancer and basic load balancer when we are going to use over the internet that public ip address also it's a basic public ip address only let me show you that public ip address also and this is a basic public ip address and the sku type you can observe guys this is a basic public ip address only and that public ip address 172.177.92.191 so even i copied let me open the notepad so that is the same public ip address when i upgraded i required yes so now actually this load balancer is working or not let's check it so all day copy the public ip address and posted here and uh, some basic uh, normal default website it's the output i'm getting okay no issues i'm getting the output now we are planning to upgrade upgrade the this basic load balancer to standard load balancer and what is uh, like scenarios wise we can use it so there are what i identify the three scenarios guys one is a uh, over the internet you are using the basic load balancer that is a public load basic load balancer to standard public load balancer that is a one another thing is a basic load balancer internal purpose within the organization that is also we need to upgrade to the standard basic uh, sorry standard load balancer that is another scenario and another thing is a basic load balancer backend is a virtual mission scale set virtual mission scale set and these three scenarios uh if you are using yes what i'm showing here uh those commands that how to do it and um, everything no need to do it guys it's automated wise also like in the devops pipeline you can run it accordingly it will automatically happen so i'm going to show you practically without wait and let's jump into the practically here so what i required for this basically we required the azure powershell azure powershell is required guys that azure powershell wise i'm going to use the cloud shell in azure platform cloud shell already is available 
because of already all modules, everything is already available. No need to install ourselves in our desktop or laptop, anything. So already I have, so that's the reason I'm just taking the requesting to Cloud Shell. It's a PowerShell, it's going to loading. And even you can see right now, I have only one load balancer and you can observe here. I don't have any other load balancers, okay? Let's, this is a topic. Practically, I will show you. So before that, what I required is a load balancer name. And this is a load balancer name as well as resource group name. And uh, these two uh, we required guys for upgrading the load balancer basically. So one thing PowerShell module is ready. Next, second point is a, uh, here, that is an uh, nugget package Microsoft is uh, providing. We can't, you know, that script it's not available and it's a nugget package uh, they are providing. Using that nugget package, we can upgrade it. So where we can get it? So that is a simple command and that needs to be run in my cloud shell. So that is a command wise Microsoft is uh, provided. I can show you and um, let me show you guys here. This is a and install. This is a install script. I for name Azure Public LB upgrade. This is a basic public IP uh, public IP address to standard public load balancer. This is a one. I'm going to install. This is a one. Let me go to the portal and. Uh, Paste it and click on enter. First of all, we need to install this script. That script is a installation completed, guys. After that, we need to run this command. In this command, and you can observe, guys, what we install that script. Dot ps1 iphone old rg name that is a resource group name and old lb name that is a lb name is a load balancer name right now what a uh, load balancer name and new lb name so we should provide the new lb name so right now lb01 same thing so i'm copied go to the azure portal cloud shell and before that you want validated i can show you paste and very simple you can see guys ag iphone daily iphone lb uh, lab iphone rg load balancer name web lb01 and new load balancer name is a that is a upgrade load balancer name is a uh, lb01 web lb01 upgrade so nothing i'm doing guys and automatically we'll get it let's wait here uh, we have to wait a uh, few minutes how much time few minutes means depends on depends on your load balancer configuration health probes uh, L, uh, load balancing rules uh, outbound rules and it's a uh, basically in the basic load balancer we won't get the outbound rules um, so it won't support it so no problem uh, but it's a uh, load balancing rules and health probes and uh, existing public IP address also, static public IP address. But generally standard public IP address, uh, standard load balancer use the standard public IP address. Even existing same public IP address, it's going to upgrade. So in place upgrade that public IP address. That public IP address is in place upgrade from basic to standard. Even I can show you. So starting already I shown you what public IP address we are using. And later on, I'm going to show you same public IP address what type of public address we are getting. So that is an in-place upgrade. It's uh, going to happen in the entirely nothing to do from our end, guys. Nothing to do from our end. So in between time, already mentioned three scenarios. One is a basic public load balancer to standard public load balancer. Same command? No. Again, I'm saying it's not required is the same command. It's a uh, three scenarios, three different commands. So one is a standard uh, from basic to standard it's over the internet that is one command another one within the organization basic internal load balancer to standard internal load balancer that is another command another one basic load balancer with the virtual mission skill set that is also standard load balancer with the 
virtual machine scale set that is another command so three scripts is a different same script it won't support the three scenarios guys so we should use the three different scripts we should use it so that only we can achieve this one otherwise we'll get the problems otherwise we'll get the problems guys that is a one thing and second thing public ip address uh, like in the basic load balancer if you are using dynamic public ip address again we'll get the problem that should be static that should be static guys not is a dynamic so obviously most of the time we'll use it the static only and in case of if you are using dynamic it won't support it guys that is also very important point we need to understand okay so it's a completed you can see guys it's a totally completed and i'm going to minimize here and load balancers and just a refresh totally portal and we can see here now we'll get the one more load balancer with the same public but the same configuration and everything guys nothing to do from our end everything same adjusting configuration like load balancing rules uh, health probe and everything it's automatically created in the upgraded one on the load balancer so no need to worry about no need to reconfigure ourselves and deploying the standard load balancer and uh, health probes load balancing rule these all those things no need to do ourselves guys this is entirely that script microsoft upgrade load balancer script it's going to take care in the background totally so generally it won't take much this much time okay in between time i'm going to show you here what are the commands we should use it so this is a one basic public to standard public load balancer and this is a script we should use it azure public lb upgrade we should just run it if it is a using internal basic load balancer to standard load balancer we should use this is a script azure i i means internal lb upgrade this is a command we should use a script we should use it to run and uh, this is a one next one virtual machine scale set in the back end if you are using this is a like module not is a powershell script this is a module first of all we need to install it and after that that command we need to use it so what is the command start iphone ag basic load balancer upgrade the resource group and load balancer basic load balancer name we should provide it like this we need to do like this way to upgrade the basic load balancer to standard load balancer guys let's go to the portal and you can see web lb01 upgrade one i got it so go to here and i can show you the output also nothing i'm not configure anything and you can see same public ip address guys same public ip address again i'm showing the output here <coughs> so we are getting the output here guys okay good even i can show you public ip address and automatically it's a create in one public ip address it's a, this is a one i can show you and a new public ip address or this is a old public ip address what i would use it in the load balancer that is a one and new public ip address wise is a old one it's also setting one more public ip address that is a one 20.114.184.65 in the background it's a removed and that as the this is a one and few questions generally will get it it's a required downtime window yes obviously during this time we can't able to access through load balancer that services obviously we required the downtime and already i mentioned what are the challenges we'll get it and um, like we should not use the dynamic ip address we should not uh, um, that one one point here and different uh, types of different uh, scripts we should use it different commands we should use it so that only we can achieve it totally guys so if you like this video please like and subscribe if you are not as of now not subscribe my channel please subscribe and please encouraging me and give the comments guys thank you very much we'll let's meet one more video